Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Civil Construction and Tutor and in this video we will be continuing the truss connection. So previously we designed the connection for the Raptor, Berlin and the cords considering stiffening members. So in, in this video we will be designing a simple connection. So that will be for the inclined struts, bottom Raptor and the central post. So we will be designing this part. So this was the connection that we designed earlier. So we'll simply continue to this and for this go to new and we'll continue in the same project file. So go for the blank create connection. So let us go to the e tabs and we'll check the arrangement. So node one. So we are going to design this particular joint. So we have one, two, three, four members. So we'll add according to it. So as I said, we are using the same project file. So we already have this section that we use in that particular file. So it will be easier to model that. For now, the bottom cord comprises of ISMV50. So we'll use that ISMV50. Okay. And it will be a continuous type. And there won't be any changes for this. We'll add a new member type. So that will be the central post or vertical strut. And that is ISNB32M. And it will be ended type. And we have to arrange that vertically. So pitch will be 90 degree. Okay. But there has to be made a cut between this and this member. So I have already explained how to do that. So simply go to operation right click to the new operation and here you have cut. So you will use that. And here uh, we have only two members so it will automatically assign according to the members. But the type of cutting is not as our requirement because we are it doesn't consider this surface so it's raining you can hear the thunderstorm so we have to make that cutting method as surface so you will get a throughout cut according to the surface of the member so now considering the wave weld only so we will use the fillet weld front side and let us keep the thickness as 4 mm for now we'll check that if it is sufficient or not now let us add the other member that is the inclined struts so copy and we'll add that in this particular direction so let us see here let us consider this angle as 45 degree So keep this as 45. So it is okay. Now let us add a new cut. And this cut will be for the member M3 with respect to M1. So you can see there is a cut, but not with respect to this. So we have to make a cut with respect to M2 as well. So I guess you might get confused. Let me rename this all. So this as bottom raptor m2 is the vertical cord and m3 as inclined strut so strut and cord are same but just here to make difference so now let us add another type of inclined strut in this opposite direction so copy incline strut okay let it be m4 now let us rotate this in this particular direction so it will be this value cannot be greater than 90 degree either it can be plus 90 degree or minus 90 degree 
so the range is maximum plus minus 90 degrees so we'll rotate this so you can see the arrangement is done now okay before that let me make a cut with respect to this also so cut by vertical cord so now you can see there is cut between these two now let me make a cut with respect to this for the member m4 so member will be m4 cut by the bottom raptor okay and similarly make a cut with respect to vertical cord add copy of this and it will be m4 okay but with respect to vertical cord so now the cut has been done accordingly now the operations has been done now we'll assign the loads so go to load effects right click over here new load and you can see here v cord inclined strut and m4 so we'll assign the load from the etabs and while modeling this these are the members that are subjected to axial force only so model type will be nvy vz that is pinned connection so select all with the nvy vz so basically n means the axial force by and vz are the shear force in direction y and z for bottom raptor it is not necessary to provide any uh, model type you can simply put nvy vz it won't make any difference but for this and by vz so these three members now let us see the load so display frame forces and in the combo i have already made an envelope so i have already discussed about this load combination so we can simply take the maximum and minimum value with respect to the load type or load combination so you can also see here there will be negligible shear force there will be negligible moment but there will be certain axial force and that is to be considered for the design so 5 2 6 all are positive that means tension force let us check for the other grid as well so it is 10 5 4 10 5 5 okay so we'll consider this grid and we have 10 5 6 so we'll take 11 6 6 on either side and it is tension type so load effect vertical cord so we have to consider the direction as well so for vertical cord x is the direction so we'll give axial load in positive so that means tension will be 10 kN so you can see here 10 kN tension type similarly for this vertical cord sorry inclined strut in x direction and positive so it will be 6 and similarly for m4 also in x direction it will be positive 6 Now let us set this as bearing. So if you don't set as bearing, analysis will not be performed. So the loading has been done. Now let us calculate. So analysis has been performed. If the load combination is not suitable or if the loading is not or if the connection is not in the equilibrium case the analysis will not be performed either you will get here singularity uh, or you will get zero percent analysis so that has to be taken care of and the plastic strain has been is less than five uh, the plastic strain in the plates is within the permissible range so all the weld utilization is less than the permissible range so it is okay now let us go to check and check the deform shape so let us see the equivalent stress and the deform with deform shape so you can see the deform shape is as our required uh, 
type considering the tension force on either members now we can prepare report so let us go to the brief and you can see here the result and considering one page you will get the beam and column type force load effects summary and for the size of weld that we have considered you can find that in the detailed one so here you can see the size of the weld it is 4 mm so and this is the length of joint and utilization so all of them are less than the permissible range so in this way the truss connection is designed so this was simply using the weld connection we can also design this type of connection by adding a stiffener plate over here and connecting that with the members uh, like inclined strut vertical cord so for that we'll uncheck all this because it is not necessary now so let us delete all this because there won't be any direct cut on the bottom raptor with respect to this inclined struts or vertical cords now let us go to the operation new operation and here you have a stiffening plate so we'll add this and we will also add a gusset plate connection and that gusset plate connection will be with respect to this sp1 so sorry delete this and here in the new operation you have gusset plate here so gusset this is for the truss member now sp1 here let us use a thickness of 5 mm shape we'll use a rectangular type and origin will be a member so we'll consider with the bottom member and for now it is originating with respect to arc 1 so you can see number of arc in the bottom raptor so basically you can find here also see over here so arc 1 is somewhere here so this is arc 1 so it is originating from this point so we want it to originate from this particular point so it is arc 16 so arc 16 and it is to be provided in the direction so let me turn off the gas first so we'll rotate this so by 90 degree and the length so let us consider so this is b1 this is b2 so let us take this 100 for now and this is h1 and this is h2 so h1 is originating or h1 is being considered from the top of this arc 16 so h2 will be 0 so you can see automatically we have a welded connection of 4 mm now we have to make this section move because it is being inter intersected with the bottom raptor so for that we will be using gauss gusset gussetting truss operation so you can come over here and select this as member vertical cord okay so you can see it has shifted upward but it is to be connected to the existing plate and the existing plate is sp1 so even now you will see that the gauss has been combined with the stiffening plate related to bottom raptor okay and this is the gap so this gap is 20 mm you can reduce this to 100 mm similarly for this also we will add a gauss so this will be member 
inclined strut sp1 okay 100 mm gap is not sufficient for this or it is it is more so it is not suitable or it is not uh, satisfactory so we'll reduce this to 20 mm let's see so it is okay now so for that 100 mm so it you can see that there is no intersection so 20 mm for now and similarly we will add a new operation that will be for this m4 member Three mm bolt, three mm weld size. Okay. Centered, so you can understand this thing. Now let us run the analysis. So you can see the analysis has passed so this is also okay and you can check the deflected shape deformed shape equivalent stress uh, stress in the contacts I have already discussed this in the previous video and you can simply prepare the report also So I hope this video helped you and if it did help, do like our video and subscribe our channel. Thank you.